All right, guys, here we go. Troy Fortin versus <clears throat> Patrick Furlan. Where's that audio coming from? Hello? Where am I getting audio from? Oh. Here we go. So we got Patrick's coming in as a 522 in Troy is a 505. They're starting off with eight ball, race to five, and they're going to go to nine ball from there. Nancy, how are you? Everyone, please share the stream. That's what I'm going to actually go do right now, real quick. So I won't be paying attention for a minute here because I'll be sharing it out. Uh, we are broadcasting also on YouTube, hopefully. Give me a few minutes to uh, share this out, guys. Everyone, please share the stream out. Be greatly appreciated. That's what I'm doing right now. Troy came all the way up from uh, almost Vermont to play tonight. And I think uh, Patrick's an hour and 40 from here. So, appreciate both of those gentlemen coming up to play. Sharing the stream out, and I'll be with you guys in a moment. It's a lot to share. They won't get banned. We have one more Friday night fight for the rest of the year, and then we are done for the year. Until second week of January, I believe. Next week's going to be a good one. It's going to be a first for me. Alrighty, I shared as best I can. So hopefully you guys do the same. Lee Ledusa, how are you, sir?
Yeah, Troy's been putting in the work, he said, so we're going to see how he does. Patrick alerted me to the fact that he was uh, one of the, uh, played here in a Friday night fight year, about five years ago, he said, against Chris Lopes. I was trying to find the date of that match, but I can't. If he can cut that 10 and come above the 8. Have a nice shot on the corner with the 8. That'll, that'll do it. Wow. One nothing, just like that, Mr. Mr. Fortin. It's a race to five, eight ball. There's Mr. Furlan. Uh, from uh, Furlan Cues, custom Cues. Uh, you want to check out those Cues? Check out 603-998-1138. That's Furlan Custom Cues. Check them out on Facebook. Give me a second here. I'm probably going to whip up a uh, QR code for him. Should have did that earlier. I forgot. Uh, let's see here. Great run up by Troy that last rack. That was quick. Guys, how's the stream? Everything good? Get good audio, good video? We get a lot more than 15 viewers. Come on, let's go. Let's get some viewers going here, guys. It's a good matchup. Let's see here. Going on here, why is it not streaming? There we go. I'm trying to stream to both YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to drop this down.
Well, that three ball is hanging by a thread. That 12 come off of the 11 in the side. Just got to play that 14 in the opposite side because when the place it goes, he's got the angle to do it too. Just follow off the, this 11 ball, get below the 14. I think try to go run into it. Maybe we just got below it, though. We could have played the 14 over here on the side. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's married up to the 6. Let's go try to get to it here. Two rails off the 13. Maybe you can bump it. That might carry him in the, in the side pocket. Hmm. Let's try. I can't believe the three balls just hanging there and suspended. You look like if you breathe, it's going to fall. We had a great match here last weekend. We had John Panessa versus uh, Andrew Mason. It was a rematch. It was interesting because they played partners the week before, but last week they played against each other. And uh, it was quite the battle. Uh, Mr. Panessa won convincingly, but it was still a battle. Both players shot extremely well. Just one capitalized on the mistakes more than the other. That's how deep that was. <laughs> I think he could have drew that out of there. Just didn't go low enough. Let's get the angle here. Punch cross table for the eight in the corner. Now those shorts are pretty uh, sharp looking. Well, Troy's got like a spot shot here on this six. Put a little bit of right on it, and he'll head right over there for the eight ball. As long as he makes the six.
See Erica practicing in the back. Erica Testa, one of the top female shooters in New England. I think Patrick should have played a safe in that last shot. I should just be able to make this 14 come straight across the table for the 8. You ball all the way up. Puts him on the board. Hey, Alicia. Tim Merrill, how are you, sir? Linda, how are you? Great shot. So way to get the money right there, kids. One one. Like I was saying before, uh go ahead and scan that QR code in the top left of the uh logo there for Furlan Custom Cues should bring you right to his uh Facebook page. It's not picking up. Try it again real quick. Hmm. Isn't the QR code picking up? Jose Concepcion, what's going on, buddy? Everybody, happy holidays. Make sure you join us 
next week for the last Friday night fight of the season. I will show you the flyer after this rack. Ryan Richardson, how are you, sir? Hopefully the audio is nice and clear, as well as the video. Got to get an angle off that 15 to break into that 12-9. Is that the 9 or is that the 1? That's a 9. I would have got. I would have think I would have tried to get a different angle in that fifteen to get into that twelve nine. Yeah, you can play into the nine and try to put the cue ball on the bottom rail. Play a safe. As long as you don't touch his low balls, I mean, you should be okay for a safe. Just. Thin off the nine. Try to get the cue ball down on the bottom rail. Nice shot. We got the breakout. How do you do? We got lucky with that nine. Nine ball all the way up. He wants to push that 12 to the rail and back out. A little bit above center on the cue ball. Just don't get stuck behind the four. Oh, one right in the side. Even better. If you can cut this 12 and go two rails for the eight in the same bucket, that'd be sweet. It's got to miss that two. A shot. Rams Ferland goes up one. Yeah. 
2-1. to one. Guys, next week, we're going to have nine ball banks. Six top players coming in to play nine ball banks. Justin Pike, Tom Plant, the one and only Steve Booth, Steve Sutton Death, Roy Morgridge, and Stu Rainey. That'll be next week's last Friday night fight of the year. It's a six-man Banks ring game. Uh, Eric Ferkey is setting it up. Uh, he was going to play in it, but he stepped out to let um, Steve Booth play. So really looking forward to that matchup. That's next Friday night's Friday night fight. If you're just joining us now, you're watching Patrick Furlan versus Troy Fortin. It's 2-1, to one, going to rack number four. Patrick breaking. Hit the nine on the break. Wrong game. Low balls look pretty good here. I mean, everything goes. I like playing that three and then the five. He's playing with the real estate here. Just cut the four. And next week I'm going to have with me in the booth the one and only, the incomparable Miss Erica Testa. Uh-oh. A weird angle on that three ball. You like to have been over more. Try to run into the five here and push it close to the pocket. To put a good stroke on this one. About one o'clock in the cue ball. Well, he looks like he's going bottom. Bottom right. Ouch. That's going to hurt. See, if you were taking care of that 3 5 in the beginning of the rack, you wouldn't have that problem ball up there to deal with. So I thought he should have taken those two balls out first and then worked this end of the table. Under the air. Well, we broke the eight out. That's a good thing. Buzz Troy would play a safe off the 13, just roll the 13 into the rail. He doesn't have a shot. He's going to have to jump again. Get him behind that 11 ball. Make him earn it. And just push it right to here. And just leave it right there. Make him jump.
Nice little bump there. Oh, he almost overcut that ball. Just come out two rails. Try to follow this around for the eight in the corner. That works, eight in the side. No, well, he's got to do is make it. Position is pretty much automatic. Nice shot. All right. Huge swing there between 2-2 two, two and 3-1. Guys, don't forget, uh, we started back up here at Buster's. The Junior League is back in full swing every other Sunday. The next event will be January 6th, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Sunday. The Junior League here at Buster's, if you have a any kids between the ages of 6 and 17 get down here on uh, Sunday, January 6th. We do an hour of instruction, and then we do an hour of play. Right now we're playing uh, 10 ball because uh, the juniors are playing 10 ball now in the leagues, not 9 ball. So we're playing 10 ball. Just make sure you check that out. Hey, if you're in construction and uh, need some sealant, Check out this new company, Integrity Foundation Sealant. Russ Holmes, 603-241-2282. Go ahead and scan that QR code in the bottom uh, right quadrant of your screen. And it should take you to right to that page. Okay, that worked. So why is not this one working? Oh, now it does. Okay. It was my phone earlier. That's why it wasn't working. Go ahead and scan that QR code. We'll take you to Furlan Custom Cues. Good 
good break. I think you can shoot the one, then shoot the three. Then the five, seven. Oh, well, he's playing high ball. Not sure what he was going for there, because the nine balls impeding that pocket. I thought low balls were a lot more open. What's up, What's up Steve? Good. He's trying to play a combo. Wow. He did play the combo. Nailed it. What a great shot by Patrick. I think this is going to hit just above the corner pocket on the long rail. If he makes this. Tough cut, especially with a rake. Wow, great shot. Another good shot, especially with a bridge. You know, put some uh, some left on this. Try to spin it on the inside of the eight ball between the eight and the ten. Overcut it. I like playing a three in the side here and then play to five and come up for the seven. You're going to lose too much control of the cue ball here. So if you would have played the three in the side, then you could play to five and come up for the seven. Then you had the four two to clean up and he was out. Just roll forward off this four, get the one on the side. I'm not sure where he was going with that one. Yeah, fall for the one on the side. And play to three, seven. Yeah, he didn't get him. And the ten, that's for sure. You can see the edge of the 10. So, Steve, did you see the match we got for next week? For the last one for the year? So, how are they doing now? It's, it's a ring game, Banks. Nine ball Banks. 
So we got um, Roy, Steve Sutton, Justin. We had Eric Furkey, but Eric Furkey stepped down to let Steve Booth play. And then uh, Tom Plant and Stu. Yeah, I've never seen a bank scheme. Never mind filmed it. And this eight ball gets huge here. The eight ball and the ten get huge. Can you play the two first and come up? Let's see what happens. Soft roll the two and come straight up table for the eight in the corner. Gonna be on the fifty yard line. And this is a huge shot here because this is the difference between Patrick going on the hill and Troy getting another game. He's really got to make this shot. My patch is going to play the 13, come straight up the table, get on that 10. This is center ball. Top center, go to the bottom rail and come back up for the eight. He'll be on the hill. Oh, he reached there. That was a problem on that shot. He was reaching. All right, Troy needs to take advantage of that mistake. Fearless Fortin. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think uh, Patrick was going to miss that eight ball. Tough shot, though. I mean, he's in the jaw of the pocket. Let's see if he can make it. It's a huge shot. Nailed it. 3 2. The shot. All right, that was a huge rack for Troy. Guys, you got a queue and it needs some repair, and you're over here by Buster's Billiards. Check out Steve Terry and Terry and Q, 603 973 3571 for all your queue repair needs. Got a box right here at Buster's. Drop it off. I'll have it back to you in a couple days. There's a list of all the types of work you, you can get done by them. So make sure you check that out. Here's our schedule for this year going into next year. Uh, right now, we're booking almost into uh, May. I think the next available match is the fourth week in April. Four ball down. I get that rack off the table while it's 
clean. What becomes an issue? It looks like an outsfill rack. Uh, great product. Chris Renfield supplied uh, Busters with uh, our template racks for our state tournament we did earlier this year. Guys, if you feel inclined, it's Christmas season, so I threw up a little Venmo tag there in the bottom left of your screen. If you want to throw a little cash towards the uh, the stream, so you can get some uh, some new bells and whistles. Be greatly appreciated. You can Venmo me. Scan that QR code. I'll leave it up there for a few minutes. Shot Troy. It stuck him so right behind that 15, though. Can you make that 12 by the one? It's tight. I think he might have played the 15 9. He's trying that 12 ball. All right, let's see what Mr. Furlan's got. Let's see this come out to be a hill hill. Uh oh. 15 all the way up. He's got the 12, the 9. He could be out here. This is uh, very makeable. Nice shot, Troy. Slow roll the 12 in. Get a slight angle on the 9. Come straight down the table for the 8. Just missed the 5. Can we get that angle off this 9 ball? You like a little bit more of an angle than that. Should be okay. Top center. I go two rails. I just come straight down the table. I go into the second rail and coming off of it because you're coming in the line of the shot just like that. All right. Troy ties it up, three apiece. Nice shooting, Troy. I'd like to send a huge thank you to uh, everyone that likes to help out the stream here at Busters. My good friend, Mr. Joe Nash, Nash Electrics, providing the um, beautiful Predator Pro Arena light you see above our stream table. Thank you very much for that. Also, Mike DeMarco shipped the cash. Godfather of pool in New England in my eyes. Nobody does it better than Mr. DeMarco. The Shark Stream, Bobby Hilton and Joe Raccio down in Wallenford, Connecticut. The amazing things they're doing. Um, they got new product in happenings almost on a daily basis. So make sure you're checking out the Shark Stream. Kim Young, Dragon Billiard Instruction over in upstate New York. Does online instruction and also does a uh, online store. 
Clayton Rocha, CR12 Qs. You want a high end Q? No players to go other than Clayton Rocha, 781 838 0117. Course Busters Billiards and Mr. Joe Marassi, Master Billiards. No table mechanic is better in uh, New England. He's probably one of the best in the United States. Check out Joe Marassi at Master Billiards. Roy Pastor in the USAPL Pool League. Outsville Racks. Chris Wiemet from QPOC. We're going to talk about that in a minute. JT Thompson, just a tip Q repair. In uh, Strokers in Pelham, New Hampshire. We already talked about Mr. Steve Terry and Terry and Q's. Only slowly digging out the eight. If he can make the eight here, and it sucks he's on the template rack. Because that could act be a problem. Because if he's got the angle to play that 15 and, like, draw back into the eight to kick it out, that would be optimal, but he doesn't have that ability. No, nope, he just fouled. He never hit the cue ball. It fell off the rack. That was weird. It was like a ghost. Gotta play a safe off to ten. Yeah, I wish I would have got that on the uh, Why is my stream red? going on here. Just my speed control to get that one ball. Just want to stop it right where that one is so they can play the four and float down the table to play the five and the six in the side. Just follow it down the table. And that's where he wants to get to. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, he's got the five. 
almost got buried behind the eight. Bombs, what's going to do with the six? He's going to play it all the way up to bump the six. Where's the corner pocket? Wow, what a shot. That was a great shot. And he left himself on the six. Make this six and draw back for the eight. We'll have a tie ball game. Actually, he'll be on the hill. I would like to have drawn that back some. We'll cut it. Slow down. Well, the only thing left himself is a combo. Oh. I like playing in a safe. You know he's not making the eight here. Let's try to spin in and tuck behind the eight. Just, just hit it soft. He can't go between the rail, can he? Wow, he could. I think he could see behind the 11 to go rail first. That's a great shot. All right, Patrick, uh, Troy's on the hill. Good comeback. See if Patrick can get out here and make this a hill hill. Stu, what's going on? Never mind Stu when he comes up about next week. All right. Troy breaking, he's on the hill. Good comeback. He was down like three games. Too far, too far gone. Stewie. You're still in next Friday, right? Yeah. 
the Banks ring game. That's next Friday. And I just wanted to verify he was still in it. Try to bank the two into the six. Got a tight window between the three and the eight for that eleven, but other than that, we can see that thirteen. I thought he was going to try to make that ball and slide down the middle of the table to get on that nine. Just stun it. It makes no sense to play that 11 ball because he can't get back up table for the nine. He's going to try cutting it in. And shot. It's a little tricky getting on that seven. He's got He's going to have to, like a soft draw if he can, pull it back to about the middle diamond. That's going to be tough. It's the only shot he's going to have. He could play a safe and just play the two ball close to the corner pocket, leave the cue ball on the short rail behind the eight. Because then if he would have got a ball in hand, he could have played that seven. He would have been out. Let's try cutting that nine. Come out two rails for the 11. Got to just miss the scratch. Overcut it. Well, that's not too bad. You got lucky. You can see the seven. I try to get the cue ball back down behind the eight and the eleven. 
all the seven in the side, but really concentrating in the cue ball back down on the bottom rail. He's going banking. Bank zones. He's practicing for next week. He was in it. Nice shot. And now what's he got? See, if he didn't make that bank, he would have sold out. Does that two ball go by the one? Nine? Oh, yeah. Drive a truck through there. Be nice if it came off the rail and come out for that a little bit higher for the one, but. You can cut the one. You're going to have to come around and try to get to the back to the center table so you can cut the eight ball in the corner. See, this cue ball is going to take off here. Or you can try to bank it. As a bank it back where he's standing, maybe he can block that pocket if he misses. So he's going for it, cut in the corner. Nice shot. I put some inside, and that ball held it up. Nice. Makes his eight ball be a hill, hill, hill. Double cheeseburger, as upstate Al would say. All right, we got double double cheeseburger. Hill, hill. 4-4. Four, four. Race to five. Nice shooting, guys. Troy, nice comeback. Sean Lassard, how are you, sir? Rob Mooney. Jeremy Bean's watching. Steve Smith, what's happening, buddy? Dave Campbell. It's the Brett Chansky. How's everyone doing? Come on, guys, share the stream. Let's get like 40 viewers. Come on, 26 viewers. Let's go. Get the numbers up there, guys. I was talking about this earlier. Chris, we met the Q Pockets. If you guys are checking this new device out, go ahead and scan that QR code top of your screen. And he has a uh, Q holders that'll hold your bridge head. Your Q, your Q extensions, your um, joint protectors. You can also charge your cell phone. The tops are interchangeable, so you can print them and have like your team name on them. Check it out, Chris Wiemet's Q Pockets. Unfortunately, his sale for the uh, holiday season is over. That ended the first week of December. Well, let's see who's going to take the first set. So he's taking high ball. Mm. With a nine on the side. Ball on the side. Thirteen all the way up. Just gonna play the thirteen all the way up. Kind of like the twelve on the side, to be honest. Because then you can play the thirteen, the eleven, the ten. Just slow roll it. 
he overcut it. Mr. Furlan's got a tough shot here. He's got to cut that three all the way up. If he chooses to go that route, it's the only shot he has. Wow, what a great shot that was. Nothing but net, kids. Look at this. Hit it beautifully. You can draw off that seven, you'd have the pull ball in the same pocket. Uh oh. This could leave a mark. He's lucky that seven ball is impeding the 15. Soft roll to 12. Float down table, get on the 13. Hit a 13, 11, 10, and get on the 15. He's going to try playing the 10 all the way up. Yeah, I didn't like that. Does 7 go by the 15? It's tight, but it might go. Two ball in the same pocket. His little mistakes is what Troy's going to capitalize on and, and win this set. And you got to play the 13 here, 12. If the 11 goes by the 2, you fall down to play the 10. The question is, is can you make the 15? I don't know why he moves the cue ball so much. 12, 11, 10 was the way to go. Nice playing the 10. Going to run into that group of balls, possibly. Question is, is can you get on that 15 enough behind the 7? You can leave the cue ball on the rail. I think he can make it. She tries it. Yep. If he's got the gap, it looks like he does. I don't know if he can cut it. He might hit the seven.
you would like to have been right on the rail. I'm about to find out. Wow, that was a great shot. That was a great shot. Just had to tickle that one in. Eight ball all the way up for the win. And he was down three to one, I think. Oh my God. Well, Patrick better not miss. That's all I got to say about that. Because they get short side position on all three of those balls. Pretty easy kick, so he really can't play him safe. He's just got to make it. Gonna play the two all the way up. And force follow off the seven. Go to the bottom rail here and back up. I believe that's what he's going to try to do. Uh, not like that. He doesn't have the angle to. Oh, he played safe. Are we going to try Massey in this? He's going to kick it one rail. I like going length of the table. This is what a win. Wow, great shot by Troy. Nails it. All right, 5-4. Bro, are you going to the nine ball next? Yeah. Nine ball race to seven? Yeah. Nice comeback. You're down three to one. All right, nine ball, race to seven. Good luck to both players. Yeah, next tournament here at Buster's is going to be January 6th. It's an under 500 Fargo eight ball tournament. Uh, it's completely sold out at this point. Maximum 32 players, 100% payout. It is sold out. So show up here and get in on the auction We'll come down and hopefully somebody uh, doesn't show and you can get in on the event. But as of right now, it is completely sold out. If you're a contractor and you're looking for uh, doing some foundation work, you need some sealant, check out Integrity Foundation Sealant, Russ Holmes. Go ahead and scan that QR code in the bottom right part of your screen. 
learn more about the products he offers, or give him a call at 603-241-2282. Integrity Foundation, Sealand. Troy, you doing three foul rule? All right, here we go. Rack number one. It's a race of seven. Good break. Got the one on the side. New shot on the two. He's going to play safe. Two underneath the eight. Did he get him behind the four? Well, I think he did. If he can't hit it directly, oh, he looks like he can. I was going to say to come underneath it and kick it down the table. But he could hit it. If he can roll the two up, roll the cue ball right up on the six, lock him up. Play safe. You give him a tough shot on that too. You worry about the scratch. Nice shot, Troy. Who's this guy? What a great shot. He can leave himself good on that four, though. His options are kicking at it. One rail off the long rail, closer to him, or go two rails. He's going two rails, doing the midpoint sh distance. He's going to kick it two rails. Wait for it. It's like a ping pong ball. Dave Dutton, how are you, sir? Hey, have you and Sydney uh, figured out who your opponent's going to be for your matchup? I believe you guys got one coming up uh, January 12th. Dave Dutton and Sydney Merchant versus uh, unknown opponents. If you do, uh, Get me uh, some graphics, pictures of everybody so I can make the flyer. I think you can follow off this five, play the six in the other corner. Get the angle. It's 
It's top center. It's going straight down the table. Control the rock. Nice shot. Stop, stop. Very nice. Wow. Huh. I never heard that. What is the uh, rating of um, Sydney? Is he banking this? It's not a bad leave. It's got a full shot on the eight, but. So I'll probably try to bank the eight up in the corner. Real position here to the nine in the corner. Well, he's going to have to go three rails. Oh, well, he's going to go to the other rail. All right, one nothing. So he gets first blood in the second set. Give you guys a quick view of the pool room. Patrick's racking. Here's our Wendy. The kids there at the the iPad zone. We'll call it the iPad zone. Tonight is the uh, Women's League. I believe uh, they're in playoff mode. For the USAPL Women's League that happens here every other Friday night here at Buster's. So one week we have women's league, and then the following week we have a usually have a tournament, either eight ball or nine ball. Small sixteen player tournament. I think it's twenty dollar entry fee or something. And we enter the in the Fargo system. So if you want to get Fargo rated for your game. That's a good way to do it. Play the small tournaments and uh, get submitted to Fargo. Two ball all the way up. Get the window between the four and the six for that three. Mm -hmm. 
Now you gotta duck underneath the five to play safe. I had to cue ball into the five. I think that's what he's trying to do. He just too much spin on the ball. Did he get behind the nine? Or has he got it? Nope, he's behind the nine. You can see the edge of the three? I don't know if he can. He might try to jump this. You know his jumping skills are. I'll kick it off the bottom rail and try to put the cue ball underneath the eight. No, he's jumping. Wow, nice jump. Didn't get the reward. Okay, I see the three ball and the four ball in the same pocket here. Fall this out, two rails. Two rails here, back for the five, or just straight down table. Someone's going two rails, way too much gas, way too much gas. You all is going to run. Wow, what a shot. You can hear that whiz, the cue ball. Just missed that side pocket too. It's gonna earn this one. We got lucky on that safe. I think he got him beyond the nine. I think he can see a piece of the six. I don't know if he can make it, but I think he can see a piece of it. He might try to jump this and just put the six, try to put the six ball back over on the rail where he's standing. He's good with that jump cue, I'll tell you that. He's made every jump. It hit anyways. He's going to force follow this to the rail and come back up for the seven in the same pocket. That's what he tried to do. Not bad, I mean. Seems like a good safe. Then you got him under the eight. No, oh, he's got the whole ball. Are you going to cut this all the way up? Is he going to try banking it cross corner? Looks like he's cutting it all the way up.
Wait, wait, if you can cut this six in, the eight ball will hold them from scratching. You should have a nice shot on the seven. Just got to bear down and make this six. I'm going to draw to the side rail. Wow. That was brutal. I, was, I thought we had that. Hit that pretty damn good. Troy's not going to like this. I'm going to cut this all the way up. I was going to try banking it. Cuts it all the way up. He needs to hit it with some speed and come back cross table twice. He's trying to bank it. He nailed the bank. Great shot. All right. Troy's going to be up to nothing here. Makes this nine ball. All right, two nothing. Troy Fortin, nice shooting, guys. Guys, make sure you're checking out on Thursday night, the Thursday night throwdown, courtesy of Strokers Bar and Billiards in Pelham, New Hampshire. Uh, their next event is going to be Joe Clark and Brian Angelbeck versus Steve Sutton and Mike Negrelli. That's this Thursday night, 1221. It's going to be a great matchup. I might have to go down there for that one. That's on 1221. And then they got the new Capital City Village is going to be opening up in uh, Concord, New Hampshire sometime in February. So make sure you're checking that out. Whole lot of noise. No shot on the one. You might try to jump this nine. What is Mass saying? They tried a little mass air on the nine. So you can get beyond the five? Nope. Nine ball's huge here for Troy, so. I think you can see an edge I don't think you can make it. I may kick it from behind. Play safe. Well, that worked in his favor. Follow up the three for the four all the way up. Like to have followed a little bit more than that. I mean, if he makes the four, he still has to do a five six combo. Try cutting this all the way up. I like playing a safe. Just put the cue ball deck down here on the bottom rail. Looks like Troy's going to go to the banks. Bank this coming around three rails played for the 5 6 combo. He's playing safe. You left on the four. 
natural position brings him to the side rail for the 5 6 combo. So, just got to try to make this. Tough shot. And cutting this four on the side. Clean the corner. Oh. Going for the rocket bank. You can you bank the four up table and put the cue ball underneath the seven? Be a nice safe. And back cut the four in the corner with a lot of bottom right. Excuse me. <clears throat> nice shot. Come around for the five. Hit that with some good speed. Should be able to just stun this down. Be able to play the six all the way up in the corner. Yeah, I didn't like bumping it out. Like missing it all together and coming down and playing it all the way up. This is not an easy shot. Back cutting this up. Scratched. And the side, pull it up for the seven. Get on the rail. I like to play this with some speed. Come back across the table twice. Don't try to hold it. And we did okay. Cut the eight ball in and head over toward that side pocket. Unless he plays with some bottom uh, left. Tries to spin down towards the nine in the top corner. And this will put him on the board. Gonna try to draw to the side rail. Nice shot. All right. Patrick's out of the doghouse. Two to one. Guys, don't forget Mark Dines, New England Nine Ball Series is back in action. Uh, his next event will be January 13th at Strokers in Pelham, New Hampshire. That'll be his next event. 
And then his next one after that will be Fall River, Massachusetts at Straight Shooters on February 17th. He's also tied in with us, um, the BEF, the Billiard Education Federation, the Junior League. Um, I still have got to get the graphics for those individual places, but I believe the first one will be in, uh, check my, my notes here. Yeah, the first junior stop is going to be January 28th. That's in Yale Billiards in Wallenford, Connecticut, followed by February 17th, the Massachusetts State Junior Championship at Straight Shooters in Fall River. And then we get March 24th is going to be in Rhode Island State Championship at Runham Racks in Johnson, Rhode Island. Then April 6th will be the New Hampshire Junior State Championship at Strokers. April 27th will be the Maine State Junior at Portland, Maine at American Pool and Billiards. And then May 19th is going to be the New England Regional Championships. That will be at the Billiard Cafe in Air, Massachusetts. Those are the tour stops for the Junior League. And then from there it's on to um, Quincy, Illinois in July for the uh, Nationals. Hopefully we'll get some juniors that'll uh, carry forward enough in their game to attend one of those events, if not multiple events. Going in off the eight? Nope. Play a safe behind the eight. Just tap the three. Nice. Should have no problem hitting this ball. I may even make it in the side off the four. Get him. He got him behind the six. Nice job. And just coming underneath the from the short rail. Kick at the three, send it up table. If you come come off the right side of the three, you might end up with the cue ball underneath the seven. At least get a good hit, on, good hit on the three. Send it up table. You got the seven and the six to hide behind. Go Jack found the subway. Mr. Paul Lewis. How are you, sir? Ooh, he almost kicked it in that way. Banks are open. That's going to leave a mark. They're playing three foul rules, so he's going to try to get him on two here, lock him up behind the seven. Send a three up table and just stop the cue ball. Mm -hmm. He's going for the run out. He 
You didn't get good on this four. Why well, didn't go for the three foul? Oh, left them hanging. Let's see. I'll try following us. So he's drawing it. All right, here's Patrick's chance. So yeah, that's another one of those shots. I like playing the speed more. So you come back out and you have the middle of the table all the way over to the far right side to stop a nice angle on that six. They got a tough shot. Could have been anywhere past the center line. You had a nice angle on the six to come down here in the bottom left. He made a nice shot, but look, he buried the six. I mean, the seven. So I don't know if he can thin this seven. He's so close to it. Just thin it. Send the cue ball back up table. thin it. Try to get the cue ball up in the bottom rail. Top rail, excuse me. If Troy can cut this in, I mean, he's got open season on the eight ball. Try cheating the pocket, fall this two rails. He hit it perfect. That was a great shot by Troy. A little backhand English. All right, Troy's up three to one. Guys, don't forget Mason Billiards in their uh, ten ball monthly ten ball tournament. Uh, I believe Sunday will be the seventeenth. Yeah, that'll be their ten ball tournament monthly event. That's at Mason Billiards. Doors open at nine. Player auction at ten thirty. Play starts at eleven. That's Mason Billiards in Malden, Mass. Mr. Bo Powers. Uh, don't miss all his tournaments. He's got some great, great tournaments and uh, a lot of money in his tournaments. Here we go, rack number five. Dry break. Got a 1 3 combo. The key is what happens with the one ball after you make the 1 3 combo. I'm going to try to make sure you get a shot on the one. Yep, 
because you knew the one was going to head down towards the rail, so I mean, the cue ball opened that area. I need to have a little bit more of an angle on that one so we can get down the table for the two. Just going to try to stun it. Won't drew it back. Ouch. Got right beyond the five. I think he's right up on the five, too. He can't even go one rail. He's got to go two rails. He's going three rails. Come on, up that third diamond. Oh, he just missed it. Oh, what a great attempt that was. Just missed it by like a 32nd of an inch. I mean, it was that close. Wow, that was a great attempt. <clears throat> He's going to fall this two ball over for the four all the way up. You want to get a. You want to be so close to the seven there. I just jacked up over the seven shooting, but natural position to the six. Great shot. Fall down off the six to the seven. Seven goes in the side. I'm going to follow this to the rail and back out and play the eight ball in the same pocket. Yep, stop shot on the eight and the nine. Or we may even float to the rail and back out for the nine in the bottom right corner. Just punch it in. I mean, Troy's like a freight train. Four to one. The score in the first set was Hill Hill and uh, Troy won it, Mike. Uh, Troy was down three to one. He came back and went Hill Hill and Troy ended up taking it. Four to one. You're a freight train right now. That was nice, that shot you did with the backhand English that you spun around to get three-rail position. Yep. Guys, real quick while uh, Patrick went to the bathroom, you guys got to check out Chris Wiemet's Q Pockets. Go ahead and scan that QR code and learn about this great new device. And it's a cue holder. It'll hold your joint protectors, your bridge head, your um, cue extension if you want. You can get them. They have magnetic tops, so you get multiple uh, designs for your tops, like a team, if you want multiple teams, or sports figures, if you like in the football or basketball, whatever. They're interchangeable. They're magnetic, so you can get them custom-made for that. You can also get it with a phone charger built in. It's a great uh, device, very functional, Qu quality product made. And there's a uh, prices start at twenty five dollars up to sixty, but you can go anywhere in between because he does them customized. So whatever you need, I'm sure he can accommodate you. Also, don't forget to check out Integrity Cues for cues, cases, billiard supplies, consignment. Uh, Kevin Steer, this is out of uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, along with uh, Bluegrass Billiards and Frank Maietti. Cannot forget Frank Maietti. 
He's the king of pool in Pennsylvania. All the great tournaments he's been doing. He just finished a great juniors tournament. Uh, I forget what his next event is. I'll have to look that up. But make sure you check out PA Pro-Am Pool. Frank Maietti. Don't forget the Junior League here at Buster's Billiards. Every Sunday, every other Sunday, excuse me, our next event will be January 6th. And it's from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. We do an hour of instruction and we do an hour of play. That's here at Buster's Billiards. Uh, we've been getting between 15 to 26 kids every Sunday. Every other Sunday. I keep saying every Sunday. Every other Sunday. So uh, we'll get a pretty full house. Here's our schedule. Um, next week will be the last Friday night fight of the year. And that's going to be a nine ball banks. We got Justin Pike, Tom Plant, Steve Booth, Steve Sutton Death, Roy Morgridge, and Stu Rainey. We're going to be playing the six man uh, banks ring game. Eric Ferkey is going to be uh, officiating that one. He was supposed to play in the event. I was really hoping he was going to, but he stepped to the side to allow Steve Booth in. It's always good to see Steve. I haven't seen Steve in a few years. And if you don't know him, he also is the author of uh, a great new uh, One Pocket book. I can't remember the name of it. It's One Pocket something. And uh, i sure you can go find him on Facebook and learn about his uh, product. Probably have a couple here next week if you want to buy them. And then we get Christmas break, and we start the first week off with uh, Steve Fleming versus Zach Corsi. And I was informed tonight that on the following week, it's going to be Dave Dutton and Sidney Merchant versus Steve Fleming and an unknown uh, partner. So that'll be great. And then the following week, we got Rick LePage versus Donald LeBlanc. Then Pete Rizzo Jr. versus an unknown opponent. And then we're into February, and we're going all the way through. We're booking almost into uh, May right now. All right, so Patrick is back. He went and did the, uh, the lion talk in the bathroom from Pool All Junkies. And let's see how he does. Four ball on the side. Tracking the one to the corner. A shot on the one. All right, scores four to one. Troy's running away like a freight train. This one comes straight back down the table. We get on the two. It's got to control the rock. Get it pretty good. Ho, ho. It's got an angle to come up. You know, up a little high. I might try to play this with some bottom right so you can play the two and not hit the three and come back up for the three in the same pocket. I mean, looks like it's just playing center. 
Yeah, I didn't like. I don't like moving balls around if you don't have to. But he's gonna play that three all the way up. And he's got the five down here in the corner, and six in the side. Right. The question is, does a seven go by the nine? Nice shot. Oh, yeah, seven goes by the nine all day long. You might see a run out here, folks. Makes this five in the corner. Comes back out cross table for the six. He makes this five ball. He might be out. Is he going to try to cut the five in or is he going to bank the five out of there and play safe? He's going to try making it. Great shot. Put the left English on it so it spun into the rail and cross. I think you can cut you can cut the six right in the side. Or you can play it all the way up. Cutting the side is really thin, but I think if he plays that, he'll bump the eight and he'll have the seven right there. And you tried cutting it. Like this in here, you cheat this, cheat the pocket to uh, his right, and you set up for yourself. Oh wait, he's got to shoot the seven next. Never mind. Why does he move that cue ball around? All he had to do was slow roll it in. We had that seven right in the corner. Try to bank it. I'm try banking the seven back to him in the corner. Right, seven's right there. Should be able to come out for the eight in the side. The ball's going to take off. Well, got that right in the side, and he'll go up and down the table for the nine in the other, in the corner, lower corner. Big bounce, big bounce. Oh, boy. It was unfortunate. 5 1. Oh, well, looks like it's going to have to be uh, Mr. Patrick's going to have to make the comeback this time. Because he's almost where Troy was. Troy was down 3 to 1. He came back, made a hill, hill, and won. They're racing the seven, so it's definitely possible to come back. Also, know when they're racking, they're racking the nine ball on the spot instead of the one. 
takes away the wing balls going in. Guys, share the stream. Come on. Let's get some viewership going. Got a good match going on here. And don't forget to check out Furlan Custom Cues. Mm, one, two, three, four. Broke dry. Don't know if he's got a shot on the one or not. I don't think he can make it by the two. Yeah, he can definitely hit it. If you can come behind that one, kick it full in the face. Send the one ball off the side rail and up table. He can leave the cue ball behind the two. Be a nice safe. And try to kick it in one rail. Going off the side rail. Put the tangent line off that. Heads for the corner on the other side. So you got to be careful of that. He's going to push. Yeah, I think Troy's definitely going to give that back to him. No, he's not. He's going to go for it. Wow, he got lucky there. I think he can kick the one, though, underneath. Coming off the top rail. Come in right here, spin it in. He's going one rail, the uh, long rail. Play the one, come straight up tail between the four and the seven. Get on that two. Oh, he missed it. He hit it too soft as well. Oh, yeah, nice shot. Cut the two all the way up in the corner, lower left. Let's try. I think Troy can cut that up in the corner. Use a little bit of bottom going to the side rail and out for the three. It's got a nice angle to play the three all the way up. Follow up for the four. Kind of center ball, slide it over. Get too fat. The three in the side, though. Six ball, get, uh, I was going to say the six ball gets huge here. Mm. 
maybe. I think he can come off or just below the point of the pocket from inside. He hit it kind of hard, and he can kick that fly ball. He might even kick it in the corner. Good hit. I think Troy can back cut this in the corner. She hit about a half a diamond out of the corner pocket if he makes it on the short rail. Banks are open here, cross side. Come around three rails for the six in the side. He's playing safe. Nice safe. He's going to kick this one rail. Off the long rail. He's on the first diamond. We oh, hit it. Good. Cut the five all the way over. When you cut the five, I play this with some right hand spin because you want to go towards the middle of the table. So you have a shot on that six. So you need to spin the ball off the rail. You overcut it big time. So we're going to go for the gusto here and try to cut it in. He's going to play a save. He's going to try to cut it. No, he's playing save. Oh, that's not that good of a safe. He might try to draw this out to the side rail and back out for the six. Good shot. Don't get beyond the nine. He cuts the six in the side. Should be able to roll forward to play the seven in the same pocket. Nice angle to come around three rails for the eight. Or just straight across. Just play with top. Some top left. It's going bottom. Nice shot. Stop. All right, cut the nine in. He can do this. Uh oh. If Roy makes this, he's going to be on the hill. Whoa, whoa.
All right, Patrick's going to make him pay for that mistake. All right, 5 2. A little crazy. All right, five two. Patrick breaking. It's Patrick's time to come back. Good comeback. Tracks that one ball in the side pocket pretty good. Uh oh, cue ball. Ugh. Well, at least he didn't set up an early nine. Unless he tries to do something crazy like a three eight nine. He does that ball in hand. I think he's just going to play the three. You overcut it. I'm not sure what you're trying to do there. I'm going to follow this to the rail and back cross for the five. It's top, top English, top center. Come right up around the third diamond. I like to get back over to the middle diamond. Uh oh. So here again, I want to play this with some top and some speed. He's going to play with some bottom left. Drag it. Like playing it top, coming back across the table and back over. That's why he jarred the ball. He's going to play a six, come back across the table with a seven in the same pocket. Same thing with Troy here. Some right hand English, left hand English. Play the six, come across the table, come back over. Get straight on the seven. Perfect. Follow down for the eight.
Yeah, he wants to be down by that first diamond. Just a soft roll forward. You need to catch a little bit more top. This can be tricky here. He's going to try to cut the 8 all the way over. But he's going to run to the 9. He wants to use top here and try to get beyond the 9. And not send the 9 up table. Nice shot. Banks are open. Playing across corner. Yeah, so he's going to come off around half time and blow the side pocket. And put some bottom on it so he leaves the cue ball up here on the top rail in case he misses. Not an easy shot. I mean, you can cut it in, but it's not easy. Oh, Patrick makes this. Nine on the side is going to put Troy on the hill. All right, 6-2. Patrick is on the hill. I mean, uh, Troy is on the hill. This is time for Patrick to fly now. Patrick's got to come back. Troy did it in the first set. Patrick can do it in this set. Make it a hill hill. You guys are watching from Buster's Billiards here in Summersworth, New Hampshire. Where families come to play. You want to get on a Friday night fight? Give, give me a shout on Facebook or text me. Uh, there's our massive schedule. We're booking now almost into May. It's not even through the winter yet. and We're already booking in the, the summer. It's crazy. Here we go, Pat. Patrick's trailing. I mean, that's uh, two, two to six. One ball down. Got a tough shot on the two, but he's got a shot on the two. I think he can cut that two on the side. Gonna hit it so thin it'll come around the table for the three. Come three rails for the three. Nice shot. He likes that backhand English. He really jacks that cue up in the back. Cutting in the side. Uh oh. Well, that's the mistake that Patrick needed right there. He's got a ball in hand, so. I don't see any problems on the table. You just got to make them. Quarter to five. You're a little tricky.
think it was concentrating too much on position. Uh oh, it's gonna be behind the six. We have a tough cut on this four all the way up. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Thanks. Can you see the four between the six and the... Nice shot. I think you could see it. He guys he's got the bird's eye view of it though. Yeah, I think he was worried too much on getting out that rack, maybe. Because he knew he was on you know, Troy's on the hill and he was thinking that. He wasn't thinking to fully focus on the shot at hand. Troy's going to try to bank this, I think. Corner. I'll send him an out for position for the six in the side. Hit the rail. Can you hook him behind the eight? Nope. No, I think you can make that five. Just wants to thin the five so he can get an angle to come around the table to get on that six. We got him behind that. It's got to jump a little piece of the eight. Great shot. Come out for the six. Six on the side. No, no, no. God, no. I'm good. Thank you, love. Yep, cut that one. So we're going to try to bank this cross corner and put the cue ball into the seven. We're going to try to play it all the way up. So he's going to try to cut it all the way up. He overcut it. But he had good speed. He's going to the air again. Well, he jumps good. He gets 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 up there with the ball.
Gave a nice angle though to play that six all the way up and then float down for the seven. Jack yeah, hammered that ball. And the six goes all the way up. He's really close to that ball. Probably gonna use a bridge and check up and try to draw back off the six for the seven. Worried about a double hit. And that's the only shot he's got with the six is all the way up. Yeah, I mean, he's got the angle to play the six all the way up and just draw back a few inches with a seven. He's got to really concentrate to make that six. And make him shoot over the ball. Banks are open again. See, I like playing the six up table and try to put the cue ball underneath the seven. Because even if you bank the six, you got a combo on the eight or a carom. You don't have an easy shot. So try to play the safe. Send the six up table. Put the cue ball underneath the seven. That works too. He took the jump out of play. He's going to try kicking this two rails. Doing the midpoint system, the distance between the cue ball and the object ball. Draw the center line to the pocket and then peril shift to the cue ball. All right. He's going to get over by the eight to get on this seven. It's the only pocket will go is in this bottom corner. See, I like playing it in the bottom right corner, following down for the seven. Just judge your speed. Worst case scenario, if you don't get straight in, you can cut the bank the seven up table and put it behind the eight. Play safe. So I'd play the six all the way down here in the corner and follow down for the seven. If you miss your position of getting on the seven, you can always tuck under the eight. How'd he hit it, folks? He hit it pretty damn good.
Controls the speed, nice. Okay, so it's on the top. Let's cut the seven over. Slow down. Place on top again. Float up for the nine on the side. Maybe just a little touch of top left. Cut the eight in, come up table. Nice shot. A little heavy, he's got to make the nine in the corner though. Not an easy shot. Take your time, just make the ball. Top English, no left or right. Fall to the rail and back out. Then you did bottom, just top. Which I cut in the side. I think he's going to cut it in the corner. All right. This is for the second set. All right, Patrick's got nine lives here because he shouldn't be back at the table at this point. Christmas came early. I don't think he can cut that in the side. He's got to cut that all the way up. He's going to earn it. That's for sure. Let's see he's trying to cut it in the side. All right, 7-2, that's it. Now let's see what they're going to do next. Be right back. Let's see what they're doing. Are you guys doing the third set? Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna play straight pull, just for because I already won. Straight pull? Yeah. Just a, a small way, just for an hour. You don't want to say. Yeah, that's fine. Something different. A race to fifty or something? Yeah, that's why I figured fifty. Okay. All right. I think they're gonna play a straight pull, a race to fifty. for this. Hmm, how am I going to do this?
Yeah, I believe it starts out as a minus one on straight, yeah. I'm going to try to score this. I can't remember how I used to do this with um, straight pool. I think I used an app. So Patrick right now is a minus one. Um, Troy crushed him in nine ball. Seven two, I think it was. So that brings, I don't know how you score that. So normally you take it off the back score because you could always equal 15. I think he's going to use the nine balls as break ball. It's kind of in the middle of no man's land here. Unless that six is wired. Nope. He's going to have to play the nine. We tried to combo. So we got eight, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen.
Ten balls gonna be the break ball. I shoot the six now and draw back for the eleven. You can use the ten ball as a break ball. I think you can see the 10 to make 10, can he? No. Slow roll right on top of the six. That ain't good. You get against that. Long rail there on the left would be good. Hit six and get up on that rail. All right, thirteen one. So he should have 12, right? He just lost that minus one at the beginning. Right. So is that right? Yep. Okay. I just don't get on You can use the beads. Troy, you can use the beads on the wall. Okay. I'm not sure if I scored that right or not for the straight pool. He did take one off for the scratch. That's why he ended up with 12. Nice save. 
I think it's even more. I think it's on a on a foul on the break. I think it's like a three point um, penalty. So, Troy, you're minus one. Foul on the break is a two point loss, not one point. And then the uh the opponent can make him uh re rack and break again.
banks are open. Nice shot. He's got the one. The combo on the one. Eleven ball is a break ball. Nine three eleven. Oh, it's going to get an angle. Come off the rail on that three. Get a three all the way up in the corner. Get on the nine. And he'll have the nice break shot with the 11. He can get through this. Wow. Another good shot by Patrick. Twenty two to three. Hey, just so you guys know, a uh, foul on a break is a two point penalty and uh your opponent can make you re rack the balls and you have to break again if they choose. No, I looked it up because I thought it was a three point. And there's some crazy rule where you get like an eighteen point uh, penalty. You get three fouls in a row, something like that. You get an 18-point penalty. You get one point for each foul you commit, and then after three you get a 15-point deduction from there. All right, let's see if he can break. Th if he can hit this 11, he's going to have a nice break shot. Wow, great shot. He hit that good. <laughs> Tell Jason Shaw. That was a Dennis Daniels break right there. You get a reward? Not really. Go for the combo. Nope. Alright, Troy's gotta get together here. 
It's 24 to 3. Patrick's on the 50 yard line. And straight pool is foul, all balls. Fifteen all the way up. Oh, we hit that. You hit that bad. Five or five. Be careful here because it's going to try to spin up the table for this. So you can very easily jar that ball. Get it pretty good. Fifteen four. Hit the four. Try to get back into that right between the twelve and the fourteen. He's got the nine first. Tried to break into the stack there, but he didn't get it. He might get it here with some uh, some top left. Take him a point for that one. A bit of top left here and get right into it. Oh, he missed it. He broke into it too. He's got that seven in the side. Float up for the fourteen. Three balls, a nice break ball here. Three and the 12. Oh boy.
And the 14 all the way up. One of the seven all the way up. Played a one, the fourteen. No, he's playing the thirteen. The three ball is the break ball, though. From what I can see here. Let's play that one ball all the way up. Come off the rail, come out for the seven. Float down off the seven for the four. Come straight up table for the three. The break on the three. It's got a little bit too much angle on this seven. You have to come across the table twice. And he's going to power draw this out back to center table. Cut the floor in, go up and down the table. It keeps keeps the line. Oh, the nice shot on the three. Oh, you overcut it. Here's a nice break ball on the three, but I'm going to have to use the four ball now. Does that go by there? Oh, yeah. It's got to play the three. Use the four ball as a break ball. Really wanted to use that three as a break ball, but you ain't got a choice now. Twenty eight eleven. So I got. All right, twenty-eight, eleven. It's a race to fifty. Guys, don't forget. 
Check out Furlan Custom Q603-998-1138. Go ahead and scan that QR code in the top left of your screen. Take you right to the Facebook page. You can learn more about this great product and uh, see some of the cues that Mr. Furlan's been making. You got a good break out there. Top English has hooked the ball. Gonna play a safe. I like banking the eight up table and put the cue ball back down behind the stack. Did he call that cross corner? If he was trying to play that 13 ball, he was really close. Two on the side. Oh, the 10 ball went. Uh-oh. Cue ball almost went. Uh-oh. Open the rack up for Troy. That 6-1 might go. Look at that combination. Good shot. Thirteen or thirteen. Hmm. Got nothing now. It's a good safe. Thin the five, put the cue on the top rail. I don't like that. The bottom English go right back into the, the right by the fifteen and the seven. On the six ball, I think. Open it right up for Troy. Does he have the angle to get back into the stack? A lot of top right. Hold the line. Seven. 
1631. Oh, he got a good break out there. He's looking at the 12 ball being the break ball. Mm, not now. He's playing the seven. Good shot. Now he's got to play the twelve. That's all he's got. I just play this 12 all the way up, follow it up. I think he's got two. Use a nine ball as a break ball. I'm just going to try to slide this over to the rail. Try to bank the three ball back to him. Yep. Nice shot, Troy. All right, just play this two on the side and I'll have a nice break shot on that nine ball. You might go to the fall to the rail and come back out the center of the table. Oh, uh, spots. No, you don't lose a point. It'll look good on film, though. <laughs> All right, thirty-three twenty, I believe. Thirty-three to twenty, Patrick. You guys should have played my high run straight tournament I had a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. That was a good one. Well, it depends on how your break was. Dennis Daniels in four racks only made 13 balls. He's a 650. But he kept screwing himself in the break. Well, it's a beautiful break shot here if he makes it makes his nine ball it's going to be a really good shot 
Oh boy. He's definitely got that down. 34. He wants to get in the Once he get into the stack right here, he doesn't want to leave himself snookered. Yeah, just bump the bottom of the stack like he just did was perfect. Play that eight ball, come up for the deuce. You can play that five ball here. I might be looking at this five to break into the stack. Or the 15. Let the five have more of an angle to get into the 13-6. The In the six three. Great shot. It was wired. Five in the side. Then we'll have a one four combo if he makes this. In the combo. Fourteen. This Patrick's starting to wake up finally. I think there is a ball in hand in straight pool. It's just a penalty. One point penalty. I think it's 41. I lost track for a second, damn it. Let's see what it's like at the end of this rack. Ball ball is the break ball. Ten on the side. Get a 15 with some bottom left, come back to center table. Cuts the 13, he'll come back across the table, get an angle on the 6, to come out two rails to get on the 12. Hope he missed it. And he got one point.
Oof. That's not good. That's going to leave a mark. Let's roll the 6 in. Get the angle on the 13, come back to the center table. Go play the 13 and come up. You got awful position to get on this 12. He's going to have to try to power draw. He wants to be almost where he is now. Trying to send that ball to Pluto? You cut that in the side. That's a tough shot. Try to cut it in the side, come out. Great shot by Patrick. I think it's 42-24. Forty-two twenty-four. Yeah, I took one off. Forty-two twenty-four. All right, Patrick needs eight. But if he can get this break, he, everyone he's hit on the other side of the table, but let's see how he does on this side of the table. He's got a nice angle here to get into the rack. That was not good. I think he's got the five. I think the five will go. Seven all the way up. Fourteen or fourteen. He's really looking at that one ball. Play the four and get into that rack. It's got a good spread here. I think that uh, 11 ball is the break ball.
15 all the way up. One on the side. Does a six go by the nine? It's close. I don't think it goes. You shouldn't it like it does. Maybe it does. Oh yeah. I drive a truck through there. Well, that 11 ball is the break ball. I called that a while ago. Let's see if we can keep it there. Played a 12, set up for the 7. 12, 7, 15, 10, 1. No? I really it's not that twelve Troy's coming back. Oh, I got nice on that. You got nice in that break shot. All right, 38 to 42. Trey, you got 38 42. Patrick. Troy had a good comeback there because he was trailing by about 15 to 20 balls the entire set. And now he's in he's in the running. It's, it's only four behind. If he makes his break shot, he could be good. Oh, he nailed that. These balls laid a little bit funny. Got the nine.
He's got the one on the side. All right, that tie. 42-42. They need eight. Fifteen to fourteen. I think they're taking the fifteen, the two, seven, fourteen will go on the side. Try following this out. Forty-three. It's got the eight ball. Slowly picking it away. You might get an angle here to play the eight ball and come down off the. Sh Short rail, come back into the stack. No, oh, we know the angle for that. He's going to use the 14 to get into the stack. I think he played that 15 all the way up. Forty five needs five. Does he have the angle to get into the stack off the fourteen? He's looking at playing the four on the side. Came out too far. You may have to bank the four. Oh, he's calling something crazy. Three in the side. And that might go. That was really close. All right. Well, you could have just made a huge mistake there. We'll see. If he even runs out here, he still needs one. So. so he's going to shoot the 12. I don't think this... Yeah, I don't think the four ball goes. It's gonna shoot twelve. Has he got the five? Don't get on there. Don't get on there. Can you see the 15? He's got to play the 15. I don't know if he can see it. I don't think he can. Wow, what a great shot. I mean, he makes his six, ties it up, 46, 46.
Roy can finish these four balls off. He wins. Needs these four. Troy, you need four. He needs five. Yes, you did. Ooh, he almost overcut that. All right, 46 46. They both need four. Great matchup. Patrick's hitting another gear here. Four ball is a good break ball. Wow, great shot by Patrick. What do you eat? That was a great shot. No. Right, Troy needs three. He should get it here. He's got the three, the four, come around for the 11. Well, no, never mind the 11. He kicked it to kingdom come. 48, 48. He's going to go real first here and get on. Well, he just needs one. Six all the way up. Puts him in the driver's seat. Wow, great shot. That was the game ball right there. <laughs> All 
right, 50 to 48. Wow, great comeback, guys. 50 to 48. run I don't know I couldn't keep track of it because I was doing one by one because I didn't have my straight pool scoring app I didn't know you were playing straight pool but yeah that was a good comeback and you show really good too all right guys that's it for tonight we got one more Friday night fight for the year but that was um Patrick Furlan versus Troy Fortin they played eight ball nine ball and straight pool uh, Troy won all three sets, but uh, kudos to Patrick as he came back in uh, in all aspects. We just didn't get the W. Join us next week. It's gonna be nine ball banks. Uh, I gotta talk to Mr. Eric Furkey, figure out what the format and how that's gonna be. It's gonna be a six man ring game. We got Justin Pike, Tom Plant, Steve Booth. Steve Sutton, Stu Rainey, and Roy Mortgage all over 600 Fargo ratings. So that's next Friday night, 7 p.m. Join us then. Everyone have a great weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.